<sighs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Uh, as you might be able to see, I'm in the middle of like three projects right now at the Subaru, which is not relevant. However, today we're going to be doing a catless uppipe on this. Uh, it's probably the first or second mod you should probably do to these cars, um, minus the banjo bolt being one of them. Uh, Removing the banjo bolt on the block and taking the filter out, that's a really big preventive preventive damage mod kind of thing for this car. Um, I'll have a video for that. But this is another thing you should do. This is a catless up pipe. The factory cat pipe on these legacies, um, 05, 06. I want to say 05 to 09, but I could be wrong. It might just be 05 and 06. The factory up pipes have a cat in there, and this is before the turbo. So there's a cat here, then a turbo here. If the cat breaks up, it sends particles into the turbo, which is not good. It can ruin the turbo, make it blow up, uh, make it burn oil, and all that shit. So you want to get rid of that cat as soon as you can with a aftermarket uppipe such as this. This is a Grim Speed uppipe I got uh, that is very used, but I got it for a good price. And this is poor man mod, so we have to do some deal hunting. So in the middle of the three projects that I'm doing to this car, I'm going to show you how to do an uppipe. Um, might be difficult, might be easy, I have no idea. Never worked on a Subaru before, so let's get to it. All right, now it's kind of difficult to see, but the turbo is right here, and I'm gonna show you what nuts we have to take off from the turbo. This is the aftermarket downpipe. Um, it's got the same bolt pattern as the factory one. This stud is not being used, so there's no nut here, but you're gonna have to take a nut off here, 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 and then one here as well. You can easily get to these two with a socket, I think, but these two you're going to have to use a wrench. They're going to be a lot harder to get to, and I'll use a cell phone video to show you these down in there. So you, you really can't see shit right now. It's really hard to get a view, but I'm going to be going for this nut right now with a 14 millimeter socket. I'm just gonna try to break everything loose first to make sure I can even get to this stuff. Holy bolts! Oh, right. All right, now I'm working on this nut. To get to it, I actually put the ratchet between this hard line. Um, I'm in the middle of doing the banjo bolt video. Uh, that might be out before or after this, I'm not sure. But I actually have the hard oil line unbolted from the turbo and from the exhaust housing. So to get your ratchet through there, you're gonna unbolt the banjo bolt on the turbo and unbolt it from this bracket too. You can get your ratchet down in there, right on the nut. Oh my goodness. And break it loose. Or break something, I don't know if you're breaking it loose, but something broke. So we're trying to remove this nut and this nut. It's really hard to get to these. You actually have to remove the downpipe on the turbo to get to them. So we're now removing the five, I think it's five bolts on the downpipe. And uh, I'm going for the hardest one first. P Some people say you have to remove the intercooler for this, but you actually don't. Um, it is under the intercooler, but I was able to get a ratchet down on it. And I'll get my cell phone in here and get a nice close-up shot of where all the bolts are. But I was able to get a 14 millimeter deep socket on here. There's the one beneath the intercooler. And then the three easy ones. And then the last one. And I'm able to loosen it. And then I'm just gonna work my way. Uh, I'll lose my socket first. Then I'll work my way all the way around the turbo. Now, for this video, you don't need to entirely remove this from the car. You just need to be able to move it away from the turbo. But because I'm going to be doing something else with this, I'm actually going to try to remove it. Mounts to the transmission right here. 
right here. Or it'll just break. And make sure you disconnect the oxygen sensor clip too. Two thousand years later. With the downpipe removed, you can see the two nuts that we have to remove now. They were blocked by the downpipe. You can also see my torn CV boot that I have to replace. These nuts get pretty tight. But once you break them loose like that, they're basically hand loose. There's one. Let's take this gasket off so we don't lose it or damage it. Even though you should probably replace it. it actually looks kind of new. All right, we have all the upper bolts off the up pipe. Now we can go down and remove the header. Which can be kind of annoying. Got all of the header nuts loose. Finally. Whoa! That almost took my head off! Shit! So we got the old up pipe off. Now I got our new used up pipe. Got a new gasket. And if I can get the gasket on. Now we can install this on the car and the rest of the exhaust, which is the same exact reverse order that we already did. So I don't think I need to show you that, but now we're gonna put this bad boy on the car and it should give us a little bit more oomph and make the turbo last a little bit longer. Meh.